All right, guys, today we're going to be um, testing the throttle position sensor. I'm not going to remove this whole uh, air box. I'm just going to take this part off. I'm going to um, usually just a plastic piece up here that you twist. But when I got it, it wasn't on here. It's like a nut on here. So you want to take this off, loosen this up right here with a flathead screwdriver, and just take this top part off and move it to the side. And then we'll, we'll go from there. All right. All right, guys, I removed the hose. And don't forget to remove this too to bring the hose. Um, this is the throttle position sensor right here. See it right here? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to unplug that. And it got three wires, guys. The blue, black, and white. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the white is the 12 volt. The black is the ground, and the blue is the uh, throttle position wire to let the computer know uh, feedback from the throttle. But we're gonna check that just to make sure. Uh, you can unplug this. Actually, you can unplug this to. Uh, we could test the uh, ground and 12 volts before uh, wires unplug. But we had to plug it back in to test the, uh, the, the throttle position wire. So. Uh, let me go get my multimeter and I'll be right back Alright guys before you start testing the wire you want to make sure the key is in the ignition Don't start it turn it to the on position um, Me I like to I took um, My negative lead and, uh, Some needle nose pliers and clipped it to a ground you can go to a battery or you can find any metal part on the car But I did it like this so I can it'll, it'll free my hand up to show you what I got to show you and then, um, hold on one second, guys. Let me set my multimeter. All right. All right, then I take my positive. <clears throat> take my positive lead off the, um, just making sure I got 12 volts. I want to touch it here. Then I'm going to show you the multimeter right here. Look. 11.9 volts is close to 12 volts because I got the key for it and other stuff is um, pulling from the battery so that's good all right <clears throat> and then I'm pretty sure it's the white wire on here that's gonna be the uh, 12 volts so <clears throat> let me see if I can touch it right here okay now you see when I touch the multimeter See that? Let me take it off and then touch that white wire again. That's close to five volts, so that's what we want on that wire. So it's getting voltage. And then let me switch it around and show you guys. The, we're gonna test the uh, negative side. Okay, guys, the same deal. I'll test the negative side. I switched the uh, positive lead lead around. Then I uh, I clamped it to the battery. I know I know I need to get some alligator some alligator clips, but for now. If you don't have any, this is how you could do it. I clip that to the positive side. And we're going to touch this negative terminal to the battery just to make sure it's a good uh, connection with the positive. Okay. There we go. So, let me... Um, let me... Um, let me test the negative on here, which is going to be the black wire. Let me see. Just make sure I touch the black wire. Okay. This is the ground. Got the test light to hot. See? I'm take it off that wire and touch the ground. So we're getting 12 volts to the ground. Okay. So now that we're getting both positive and negative tier for right there, we know we got power going to it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to plug this up. To back to the throttle position system, and then, but before we do this blue wire right here, we're gonna need to skin that back with some wire strippers. You don't have to go too far, just enough to get the test, uh, the test uh, lead on it. We're gonna skin that blue wire. That's gonna be the throttle position sensor wire that send it, send it information back to the computer. So, let me get some wire clippers, and then we're gonna skin it to that blue wire. All right, guys, I used my uh, 
trusty wire cutters to um, slightly splice into that wire. I don't know if you can see it. Let me let it focus in. Yeah. See it? Just enough to get that test lead on it. All right, guys. Now, it should be like 0.5 or whatever doing while it's resting. What I did was I slightly took a razor blade, put a slip between the open wire, and stuck my test lead through there. Be careful not to break the strands on the wire. And then to see it's read 0.5. And to test that wire, you want to slowly uh, raise the throttle as if you was hitting the gas pedal and slowly raise it up until it uh, get up to five volts. It should reach up to like 4.5 to five volts <clears throat> without jumping around. And then, let's see. Slightly. Cool. Slightly raised. Uh, auto position sensor. All right, guys. It's full throttle. And that should be good. It should be 4.5 to um, to uh, 5 volts. And then you slowly raise it down. And what you're looking for is make sure it don't jump. Like jump up or jump down while you slowly decreasing it down. Okay, guys, so it seems like the throttle position sensor is, um, that's good. So, um, and there's another test you could do too, but I, it's, it's hard to do because I'm trying to hold this, uh, hold this phone, then I'm trying to, uh, test this and test that. But while you, um, while you, um, raising the throttle position sensor, like, like going up on the voltage and then come back down, have somebody, to like, uh, or you can do it yourself, but you just can't record. It has somebody tap on the uh, the throttle position sensor while you slowly raising the voltage up and then raising it down, like I just showed you. And then if it jump around, it could be bad. Cause like I said, normally if you do this test, it's pretty much working. But sometimes you want to uh, mimic like shaking at an engine, cause it could act up when the engine is moving. But yeah, other than that, that's how you test the uh, throttle position sensor. Uh, so I'm going to end this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.